everyone in this video we are going to discuss bijection in counting before starting the question let me tell you about a bijective function i think most of you are aware of it still let me just um, explain it once so injective uh, an injective function means a one to one function right so if you have two sets m and n and you have to um, m is say the domain and n is the codomain and you have a few points here and there are other sets of points here so a one to one function means every point here has to have a link to a point here right right so the number of elements of m which is denoted as mod m and if this is mod n then for a one to one function mod m has to be less than or equal to mod n because all the points need to be covered in n there might be some points left out in n but all the points here must be mapped here right so that's an injective function a surjective function is um, when the range the range of the function is same as the codomain so uh, suppose these are the points here and you have these points here so this is the codomain of the function so all the points in m sorry yeah all the points in m have to be matched within these points within these and all of them need to be matched so it can be something like this So this is a surjective function. So in this case, mod m has to be greater than or equal to mod. M. A bijective function is when a function is both injective and surjective. So mod m equal to mod n. Right. Now let us see the application of bijection in a common matrix question. So here is the question: For any non-empty finite set A of real numbers, n A is the sum of elements in A. There are sixty-one three-element subsets A of one to twenty-three, with n is equal to thirty-six. You have to find the number of three-element subsets of one to twenty-three with n less than thirty-six. So, uh, I urge you to pause the video, give it a try, and then proceed to watch the solution. Okay, so let's get started with the solution. Firstly. Uh, so what you ha really have to find is a plus b plus c is less than thirty thirty six. The number of solutions for this such that a b c belong to the the set one two twenty three, right? So uh, if you want, you can try the a is equal to twenty three minus. Uh, some lambda one b is equal to twenty three minus lambda two method, but that will be very lengthy and uh, I haven't tried it. But um, there is a a point where like you have to take a dummy variable here as well, where a plus b plus c plus d equal to thirty six, and then c is equal to twenty three minus lambda three. And if you put it here, then you'll get lambda one plus lambda two. Plus lambda three minus d equal to thirty six. So if you try to solve this, uh, maybe you can get a solution, but it will be quite lengthy. Now let us see this uh, question. There is a subtle hint in the question which shows that you might not need to use this method. So this line. Here we are given that. The number of ways n a equal to thirty six is equal to sixty one. This is an extra piece of information which, if we needed to solve in this way, was not required. So there must be another method to solve this. So let's see what that can be. Let us define a set X equal to a b c such that a plus b plus c is Less than thirty six, right? 
and uh, remember a b c need to be distinct values from the set 1 to 23 okay right now let us define a function of this set such that if x is a then fx uh, this first element of x is a then this is 24 minus a this is 24 minus b and 24 minus c so you can see that um, whatever these a b c might be this will also belong from 1 to 23 this is a 1 to th uh, this is a 1 to 1 function because like what a is um, so like if the values of a b c change then the value of fx also changes and there can't be the same fx for um, like two values of x right so it's a one to one function like uh, okay let me just show this once suppose you have one two three as x then fx will be 23 22 and 21 right now if x is equal to let's take just another example 3 2 1 okay this is just the reverse okay um, then fx will be 21 22 23 so you can see that every for every value of x so like every x1 x2 xn there is a unique value of fx right so x2 can't be mapped to fx if x1 is already mapped to fx1 right okay so this is a one-to-one -one function similarly uh, this has the range from 1 to 23 and this also has the range from 1 to 23 because uh, like the minimum it can have is 20 like the maximum it can have is when a is 1 so it will be ma um, 23 maximum and if uh, we have to fi find the minimum then when a is 23 then we can get uh, the first element as 1 so it, it will always lie in this range right okay so we showed that uh, this function fx is both subjective and injective on this set x right so that means it is bijective so now let us see two sets and also uh, notice that if this has a b c then a plus b plus c is less than 36 and let's say this is d e f so d plus e plus f is equal to 72 minus a plus b plus c which is greater than 36 right so let us define two sets say there is one set m and another set n such that so what is m m is the number of three element subsets of 1 to 23 such that a plus b plus c is less than 36 and n is the number of three element subsets such that a plus b plus c is greater than 36 right now so we saw that the function which maps this m to n this as in this element is a three element subset i hope you understand that okay so the function which maps this m to n is both injective and subjective as shown before so that means like we proved before that mod m equal to mod n what this means is n of a such that a plus b plus c is less than 36 is equal to n of a uh, sorry so the number of elements such that um, n a is less than 36 is equal to the number of elements such that n a is greater than 36 right okay and we are uh, given that the number of uh, subsets such that n a equal to 36 is 61 now this will be used here why let's see 
so we have uh, let's say the subset s is equal to 1 2 to 23 the number of ways we can select three elements from here is 23c3 right now this 23c3 is equal to n a the number of let's say um, let's define this as small n small n denotes the number of such L subsets a such that n a is less than 36 plus n of n a equal to 36 plus n of n a greater than 36 there is no other um, uh, like another term in this because the number of um, like the number of subsets can be either equal to less than or greater than there are no other options right okay so this is given as 61 and we saw here that these two are equal so let us say this is some uh, value x n of this is some value x so x plus x now we can easily find out x which is equal to 23 c3 minus 61 by 2 so this is the final answer so uh, yeah so now that you know this method i'll urge you to think about this in questions that you get of combinatrix you might not uh, be able to solve all questions by this normal method so just try to think about this method too in questions okay that is it for this video thank you for watching hope you liked it